All right, all new at six tonight, a local artist making a generous donation to Sisters Hospital today. Caitlin Crum has given tens of thousands of dollars worth of her artwork to grace the walls of the hospital to offer other families a source of comfort. And I sat down with her today to talk about this decision as well as her and her son's journey inside the hospital. Caitlin Crum remembers when she was pregnant with her first baby a few years ago. I was you know, just kind of showing off my bump and enjoying going out to dinner and being relaxed. But her most recent pregnancy was anything but relaxing. I just had a very heavy pressure in my belly and I thought maybe it was because I was chasing a toddler around. She quickly learned it was something more serious. I woke up in the middle of the night and had had bleeding. I couldn't tell if I could feel him moving or not. And I basically had grown a second placenta where my son's cord was going across some of the vessels. Doctors told her the condition could be life-threatening and she had to spend the rest of her pregnancy at Sisters Hospital. It was a lot of stress. That's when Caitlin, an artist with a studio in Kenmore, turned to her passion, painting. They say that art has the power to heal and I really do believe in that. The nurses at Sisters encouraged her to hang her art in her hospital room where she spent 45 days. I got to become friends with a lot of the nurses and the staff there was just unbelievable. This is actually the very first one that I did, and this is the one that was hanging in my room. At 32 weeks, she welcomed her baby boy, Casey, but faced another difficult time. Casey had to spend six weeks in the NICU. He had some trouble with breathing and um, just development wise, he had some catching up to do. Through all the stress, Caitlin continued to create and decided to donate $20,000 worth of her work to sisters. We were there as she reunited with the health care team that took care of her and Casey, who turns one next week. But just holding him here is honestly it's, it's so special. It was one of the hardest times for sure in my life. She says she hopes her artwork, which will be used to decorate the mother baby unit, brings optimism and comfort to others going through difficult times. You said that this experience, as hard as it was, really put everything into perspective. Sometimes we sweat things, little things. At the end of the day, it's, it's your home base. It's the people who are priority. And these moments are all like so precious.